I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Well, the big one will begin in race number three. This is the start of the pick six at 13.40, 20 to two. Get your bets on no later, 1,600 meters the distance. This is a maiden plate, Devon, and at the time of recording, no scratching. So let's bring up the field. 12 runners go to post. Now, midweek, you would have seen uh, the source scratched. Number four, Buzz Bomb, uh, was carded to race. They scratched the horse, uh, but carded this weekend. And I have no doubt that he will be priced up as the favorite. In fact, at the time of recording, the horse is 13 to 10. Three is at three to one. Horse number eight is at 11 to two. 10 at 11 to two, and it's double figures, the balance. Uh, what's your thoughts here, Devon? Are you gonna you know, side with the bedding and possibly make this horse the good thing in the pick six, or are you gonna run for cover? Uh, I'm gonna make it a good thing. I really like the chances of number four, Buzz Bomb. And uh, if you look at that run on the 27th of Jan, when yes. finishing 4.5 lengths behind Little Ballerina, that form She's line good. has stood up She's very, very well. She's very good. Candace she, Dawson. Yeah, she is a very, very good horse. And, uh, you know, I just think this is a standout here in this field. Um, I say that with all due respect because there are other horses that do have chances like number three, Tibbet Burke, and uh, I really like uh, number 10, Hoodwink. The way, the manner in which this horse ran on in the last start over 1,200 meters does have a wide draw to contend with, but does have Richard Furry in the saddle. So if I have to th throw in something for cover, it's going to be number three and number 10. Maybe I'll take two pick sixes, but I had a look at the reruns. I really like the chances of number four, Buzz Bomb, from a decent enough draw with Craig Zaki aboard, and he's riding really, really well. I, I, watched, yes, I watched the racing yesterday, and he's riding with a lot of confidence. He was riding in Klebeka, so I'm expecting this one to take some beating. Well, I hope you're right, because if you can get through with the minimum spend here, yeah, I mean, then you're a winner, isn't it? But uh, number four, Buzz Bomb, will have to answer a few questions. Number one, first time Hollywood Bets Gravel, first time a right-handed turn. And of course, if you look at the way he races, he does take a bit of time to find his stride. It's gonna, is it going to be you know, the short running that will find him out? But he's got a good draw, and if uh, Craig Zaki takes advantage of that, then he's no doubt the horse to beat. Devon's going all in in race number three with number four, Buzz Bomb. I'm going to run for cover. Uh, uh, it could be an expensive exercise, <laughs> but I'm going to run for cover. I'm going to include number three, Tibbet Burke, number eight, Captain Masala, horse number 10, which is Hoodwink. And I'm also going to include number 11, Palmo. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Palomero? Yeah, Palamo. Palermo. Ah, Palermo. So I'm going to include Palermo. So uh, Devon's going to take his chances in leg one of the pick six with the banker number four, Buzz Bomb. Uh, the numbers for me in the first leg of the pick six are going to be three, four, eight, ten, and 11. I think uh, what we're saying is maybe go one bank up, go one cover, but get that pick six on by 13.40. Uh, my name's Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.